Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about my new GPS device. And I hesitate to call it a GPS device because I believe it also uses GLONASS. So it's, uh, what do they call it, a dual signal, something like that. But it's, it's both GLONASS and GPS. Um, for most of you, yeah, it's a GPS. I thought it had uh, Galileo from European, but it finding out that that's, it's not really advertising it. A different GPS that I have also has Galileo. So they call that a tri-band. Anyway, on to what I'm here to talk about. I'm talking about the Magellan TR5. And it's very similar to the TR7. This is a 5-inch screen. The TR7 is a 7-inch screen. Um, so I, I bought it during the Black Friday sale. And, uh, you know, I go through here and it tells you what to do. And uh, I look... You know, this goes on the screen right here, this sheet right here. And uh, it says, uh, before using, make sure you, your device is charged. I'll register your product. And uh, anyway, ensure that it's got a clear view of the sky. Okay, whoopee. Anyway, so I'm trying to figure this out. It's been quite a bit of time. And this is in the box. It says, this is not a manual, so it's kind of worthless to me. Anyway, so I do, you know, what they tell me to do. I, I uh, go to the uh, product registration. And if you go to the Magellan uh, GPS.com slash store, at the very bottom, you'll see it says uh, product registration. So you click on that, and it'll take you to the product registration. And here you get a choice of. The Magellan TRX7, TR7, TR5. Now the difference between the TRX7 and TR7, other than the price, is it um, the, the TRX7 has a camera. So I'm thinking Magellan's taking pictures while you're going down the trail, which is, which is cool. You know, so you can have like instead of a Google Street View, it'd be a Magellan Trail View. Um, anyway, so. Uh, it, it tells you to uh, register your device by setting up an account. So I did that at the, you know, at the uh, Magellan website, and I did that. And um, it also tells you to go to the TRX Trailhead page, and uh, you know, create a username there. So I did that, and you know, in case you want to know who I am. Um, my profile, it's uh, 301 Steady, 301 Steady, just like YouTube page. So, um, um, you know, trying to trying to figure out, okay, so some people have uploaded, you know, some trails. Let's see, these are the trails that it gives you. And I'm, I was kind of excited. Ooh, there's a lot of trails. But, you know, when, when it came to, uh, you know, connecting these areas to do one long... I plan on doing a, uh, a trip right after New Year's uh, from like Victorville all the way to Laughlin then to Prim and then back to Barstow and then back to uh, LA and uh, there's really nothing there you kind of have to I mean there's there's some stuff there but there's there's not a lot of stuff that connects the dots so I'm thinking to myself okay what do I have to do so just out of uh, out of ideas I went ahead and called up the uh, the phone number that comes with the box, you know, for uh, for Magellan. You can look it up. It's 877-255-4161. And I was speaking to the to the guy at the Magellan, and he tells me about uh, it's a website called GPS Visualizer. So let me uh, go to start up a new page here. Uh, so at www.gpsvisualizer.com and when you open it up so you can come in here and create your own uh, your own files and and I didn't know what the file was so now I know it's called a GPX file 
And anyway, so if you come over here, you'll see it says come draw on map. So you click on drop on map and it comes to this thing and this uh, website and you could you know zoom in where you want to go and um, anyway so I'm gonna pick uh, let's go over here to salt and sea you know for Tierra del Sol in March so you can uh, come over here and I believe the uh, Tierra del Sol somewhere in this area so you come over here and you can start your waypoint and you say uh, you'll call this uh, I'm gonna call it TDS 4x4 because that's what it's called TDS 4x4.com and I'm gonna make it a um, amusement park yeah <laughs> it is <laughs> kind of like amusement park but there anyway so you can make uh, you know your your symbol there as where you start and then uh, from there you go to TR, R, TRK and you can start making tracks you come over here and you could start sitting there doing all kinds of stuff and just start drawing and I don't know a lot of little kids they'll be, they'll be doing these on their little side by sides or whatever and then uh, and when you're done, you could hit GPX, it saves, and you could download that um, and call it, uh, let's, you can, uh, let's, let's go ahead and call it uh, TDS4X4 loop. And then you hit save. And, uh, and it downloads it and then uh, so now that it's in my my computer remember that TRX uh, trailhead web page so you you know you create your own user profile username and uh, uh, wait a minute anyway so it's I'm already logged in so I don't need to do that but basically you go to these double chevrons, close that back out. You come over here to log. And then you, where it says upload GPX file. And then there it is. TDS 4x4 loop. And then double click on that. Enter. And then you could say different things. Like you'll need some four wheel drive. You don't need... Uh, four by four low uh, it's loose gravel and um, you come over here uh, there's no mud so zero to six inches sand it's uh, six to twelve there's no snow no ice no rock no water and difficulty a one and hit the review and then there it is. Now, I did the same thing as far as on my uh, my GPS. You got to go in here and you got to uh, you got to set up your Wi-Fi network. And let me go back over here to this dashboard. That's basically you're going to be your home page right there, the dashboard. Now, this is kind of important because a lot of people don't really understand, including myself. But one thing that I learned by talking to the tech rep is you go to search and you could do anything from here. People say that the, the TR57, TRX7, they don't come with street turn by turn. Now that's not true anymore. About six months ago they, they changed that so the latest ones are different. So let's say I wanted to go to a Ralph's grocery store. You know, that's, that's usually where I go anyway. Rav's grocery store and then hit search down the bottom. Now it gives me all the different grocery stores in my area so I could pick any one of these things. And it won't give me a turn by turn 
scenario but and I haven't tried this so this is something for you guys to try but you can um, start w driving in the street and it's gonna give you directions from my understanding not positive but he says that that that's how you do it so as again um, everything starts off from the dashboard um, now to to link up some of the um, you know obviously you can go through here settings uh, it, you can it's kind of self-explanatory but that's that's how you do you, you know you check your software updates your map updates you can sync your manuals uh, account profiles social networks you can you can tweet when you're on a trail achievements in-app purchases so you can upload the software it also gives you a satellite um, view for like 30 bucks a year and that's kind of important if you don't know where you're going to be going and you're just exploring which is probably most of these trails is people are just driving around saving it into their gps and then uploading it and then there it is no one's going in here and physically planning stuff out but i yeah um the uh, I, I do intend on getting that but i'm gonna wait till march so i can get two years at Tierra del Sol for it for the price of one um, let's see then your, your Wi-Fi if you look on here you've got all kinds of different ones and uh, well, I do anyway because you know people uh, you know my neighbors they're the ones that have it or or mine so um, you gotta you gotta go in there and set it up set up your password if you have if you require it so anyway that's how this thing that can upload software, uh, product information. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you guys was the uh, through the product registration. Somewhere in here, you can find the manual and you download it. And that's the only way you're going to get it. And uh, so I downloaded both my uh, the TR5 and the TR7 manuals. They're very similar. Um, and it's like 49 pages tells you what to do yeah you know by page five um, you it basically tells you that that one screen your dashboard screen is your main one so you know you can uh, go through there and read all about it and you know it'll give you point by point instructions then by the time you get over here to page what 29 something like that exploring with tr5 purchase the digital globe subscription that's what i was telling you about um that is the uh the satellite digital satellite that you can download and have it in your gps and um you know you can actually see the what it looks like from the satellite as you're driving around um, from what I understand, I'm not 100% positive. I could be wrong. But um, anyway, um, it says here, save satellite imagery from the map screen. So I guess you have to pick where, where you're going to be. And it'll, that, that section, you can upload it in there. So I'm not sure if it's rolling or not. But wherever you can get Wi-Fi and maybe a laptop or something, you can request that section section uh, of satellite imagery um, using GPX files that's exactly what I was t teaching you about this uh, GPS visualizer.com so you create your GPX files through this GPS visualizer and then you upload them and it shows you how to do that on their web page I mean on the uh, on the uh, instructions here the manual and um, anyway so uh, just to kind of fast forward here, this is what I've done. So, um, let's see. So, you saw my uh, my user, my profile over here. And these are, I created this Stoddard Wells. So, if you look at the, if you look at this screen right here, see this little purple area right here? That is what I created and I, that one's from Stoddard Wells to Slash X Cafe and 
No, 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 wait a minute. I'll back up, back up. So this is from Stoddard Wells, the Slash X Cafe. And that was this first file. And then I did from Slash X to the Pisgah, a lava tube area. So from here, this purple, that's like on nearly a 50 mile run, about 49. Right in this area is the, the Pisgah lava tubes. So I sat there and through the GPS visualizer, um, I created this uh, this route. I sit there and click, 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 click. It takes hours to do it. And then boom, it's there. All right, and, uh, and this one was the uh, the uh, Stoddard Wells Road to Slash X Cafe. And the majority of this is off-road. I think you only cross the street like once or twice. Something like that. That's about it. The rest is all off-road. And over here, uh, this this is definitely all, you know, you cross the street once. And then at the very end, you cross the street again. That's all off-road as well. And anyway, so I saved these files and I uploaded them. And I accidentally you know i was having problems with one of them so i renamed it and the first time it didn't seem like it took but it it did take so um anyway so it i have it on here twice and you click on on uh, one of them and you can see how that route comes in and it's because i have it saved twice you know it's i guess it comes in blue <laughs> And this one right here is the Stoddard Wells, the Slash X. And this is the Tierra del Sol loop um, that I created just right here while I was doing this little tutorial. Um, yeah, so there's a lot to, to learn. Um, in the next three weeks, I've got to create my, my files that I intend on doing. And my, my intention is to run from... Victorville all the way to to the Laughlin area. Uh, where the heck is it? Yeah, right. We're Ball, Bullhead City. That's on on one day, and then after that, go to Prim, and then after that, go to uh, Barstow, and then back to LA. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here since this is the second file that I've done. Um, later on, I'm gonna make more more files to go through the Mojave National Preserve. And um, hopefully this this thing will will get me through it. And I actually bought a second one because last year at Tierra del Sol, my GPS fell off the windshield onto the dashboard, onto the floor, and I um, it nailed the uh, the connector section of the of the uh, thing, and basically. All I had left was was a little bit of battery, and then after that it died, and I couldn't charge it anymore or power it anymore. So basically, it died out in the desert. So to avoid that, I actually got two GPSs. I got the TR5 and the TR7. And as long as I log in with the same user profile into my other device, I can still have these maps on there.